Welcome to Secrets of Speedstack HDI. This is one of a series of presentations which show you some of the lesser known features of Polar software and will help you get the best value out of your investment. This is only going to take a few minutes of your time. In the following slides, I'll show you how you can document sequential lamination in seconds and go from the overall stack up view on the left of this screen to the exposed sequential build on the right hand side. The following slide will show you how. This simple example shows you just how straightforward it is to document sequential lamination when using Speedstack HDI. The first step is to open a file which we've yet to document. In this case, a 3N3 sequential laminated PCB. Here you can see the stack up on its own, but to expose the sequential plan, I'll use the Speedstack Navigator. In the View menu, open the Navigator, and here you can see the stack up in the Navigator view. To make this a little clearer, I'll right click and undock the navigator and drag it over here to scale it up. By clicking the center mouse key, you can view the extents of the stack. And then it's a very simple step to right click, move down to HDI build and click on sequential plan and expose the sequential plan step by step by step. As a final step in the process of documenting, you can further right click and expose the core. This is possible for any type of sequential lamination and it's very, very easy to create the documentation by moving on from this step. So again, right click, doc, lock the stack up in the navigator, select the file menu and print. And with one more click, we generate a technical report. Just bring that into view for you. Here, the overall stack on page one and on each other individual page, each sub stack is displayed separately. You can look at them one page at a time. So there you have in a few simple steps using the navigator in Speedstack HDI to document the sequential plan of a sequential laminated HDI PCB. Thank you for viewing this brief presentation. And if you'd like to have a web-based presentation, please contact your local Polar office and the details can be found on the following slide.